In this lesson, we are going to look at prime factorization. So to prime factor a number is to write the number as a product of only prime numbers. Now this is one of the most important skills, I think, that you can pick up from this chapter um, in terms of how useful it's going to be for you as you move into, um, into fractions at first and then also uh, as you move into algebra. So this is really a skill to master. So we're going to try to write, first of all, 84 as a product of only prime numbers. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to make uh, what we call a factor tree. So we're going to start off with our number 84 at the top of our factor tree. And then we're just going to determine two numbers that multiply together to make 84. Now I think the most obvious choice is it's clear that 2 goes into 84. Of course because 84 is even. So if you divide 84 by 2, what you end up with is 42. So what you can say is 84 can break down into 2 and 42. Now what we do when we make this factor tree is we continue to branch off of numbers as long as they are composite or as long as they're not prime. So over here where we have this 2, notice 2 is a prime number. So the tree is going to stop here at this 2. However, 42 is not a prime number, and so what we'll have are two more branches coming off of it. Now 42 you should recognize as a special product, that is 6 times 7. Now 7 is a prime number. Only 1 and 7 go into 7 evenly, and so we'll stop our tree there but 6 is not prime, it's composite, so we keep our tree going from 6. And so of course 6 is 2 times 3. We've already talked about how 2 is a prime number, we also know that 3 is a prime number. And so what we have now is 84 broken down into just a bunch of prime numbers. And so to prime factor 84 is to write 84 as a product of these prime numbers. So 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And if you multiply all these prime numbers together that um, are at the end of this factor tree, you will get 84 back again. Now the way we really want to write this, this is technically correct here, but the better way to write it is to take your 2 times 2 and write it with an exponent. So 2 squared times 3 times 7. And uh, just so you know, even though this is technically correct, WAMAP will count it as wrong just because it doesn't recognize this is the correct answer. So it's going to want you to use exponents whenever you have repeated prime factors. Um, before we move on to the next example, one point of emphasis I, I just really want to make here is that it does not matter how you start. In other words, I did not have to choose 2 times 42 as the first things to break 84 into. No matter how you start, you will end up with the correct answer. So, just as an example, if I take 84 down here, what if instead of using 2 and 42, what if I recognized that 4 divided into 84 evenly? And the thing I'd multiply 4 by is 21. Well, that first step looks much different than 2 times 42. However, it doesn't matter. 4 is composite, so I will break it down into 2 times 2. 21 is composite, which I break down into 3 times 7, and notice I have the exact same prime factors at the end. So we don't have to stress about how we start the problem or anything like that. We'll 
get the same prime factorization no matter what. And we better, otherwise this process really wouldn't make any sense at all. Alright, so let's look at 1008. So this is a very, uh, I think, kind of intimidating number to try to prime factor. And the point I want to make in this problem is don't try to be a hero, uh, for, uh, for lack of a better way of putting that. Um, don't try to get the biggest possible numbers to break 1008 into that you can. Start real simple. 1008 is an even number, so don't be afraid to just start with 2. If you divide 1008 by 2, you get 504. You know that 2 is prime. Um, and just to make sure you keep track of where the end of each part of your factor tree is, it's not a bad idea to once you hit a prime number, go ahead and like underline it or something like that. So you remember to come back to it and count it as part of your prime factorization. 504. Well, hey, that's another even number. So even if I don't recognize anything else that goes in, I know that 2 goes into it. And then if I take 504 divided by 2, I get 252. Again, I'll underline this 2 since it's prime. And I look at 252, and again, maybe the only thing I notice about it is that 2 goes into it. And if I take 252 divided by 2, I get 126. So I'll underline this too. And then 126. Maybe at this point some of you recognize that 3 goes into 126. 9 goes into 126. But let's say you still didn't recognize that. You could still just divide by 2 again. And when you take 126 divided by 2, you get 63. And now 63 is a much more recognizable uh, number, you should recognize that that is 7 times 9. 7 is a prime number, so we'll end that part of the tree right there, but 9 can be broken down further. 9 is 3 times 3, and 3 is a prime number, so we're done there. So what I want to emphasize, even when you're given a large number like this, just take bite-sized chunks out of it until you get to something you recognize, and then you can break it down into something um, with larger numbers like 7 and 9. So what do we have here? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 twos, so that means we have 2 to the 4th power. I have 1, 2, 3's, so that would be 3 to the 2nd power, and I have 1 single 7. So that is my prime factorization of 1008. Lastly, let's look at 19. You take 19 and you try to figure out something that goes into it. Uh, but remember, um, um, if you're not sure if something's prime or composite, the strategy is to find the largest number that when you square it is less than 19. Well, the largest number that does that is 4 because right, 4 squared is 16. So all we need to do is check 19 for 2, 3, and 4. 2 and 4 clearly do not divide into 19 evenly uh, because they're even and 19 is odd, and 3 doesn't because 1 plus 9 is 10, and 10 is not divisible by 3. So 19 is prime. And so just understand that if you're ever given a prime number and you're asked to prime factor it, the number itself is your prime factorization.